You know what time it is. It's time to slay the spire. Oh, ironclad. Iron bad, more like. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Laugh with me. What was that? I think that was a villain from the Tick. No! That was from Freakazoid. It was a villain from Freakazoid. And whenever he'd do, like, the stereotypical, like, evil cartoon villain laugh, he'd, he'd have everybody else in the room be like, Laugh with me! Ah, ah. I think I own all of Freakazoid. And I didn't end up watching all of it. It was a weird show. It was like... Because, um, it was back when Warner Brothers, or, um, Warner Brothers, um, Steven Spielberg was, like, heavily involved. It was, like, Steven Spielberg, um, got involved with Tiny Toons, and that was a huge success. Then he got involved in Animaniacs, and that was a huge success. And then he gave the go-ahead for the Pinky and the Brain spinoff, and that was a huge success. And, like, these, car uh, I'm pretty sure these cartoons had, like, all the same or very similar writers and directors and stuff. So, like, by the time they got to Freakazoid, they were kind of so high off of their own farts that, like, Freakazoid is just strange and self-indulgent. And it's, like, it's clearly made by people who think that they can churn out whatever they want and no matter what, it'll be gold. Which isn't to say that Freakazoid isn't good, but it has a, it has a, an arrogance in the amount that it, fucks around with the audience. How's it going, Belfigor? <laughs> See you later, JMM. <sighs> well, he's dead. Rip. Rip JMM. Yeah, and they're just like weird, weird asides. Like, I remember one of the early episodes, there's just like this short little... little skit of like this dude in this creepy trench coat who... What did he do? He had like a magic watch that turned beavers to gold? Or something? And he'd like open his trench coat and the beaver's like, Aah! And it turned to gold. And one time Freakazoid just like came up and started berating him and telling him that he was creepy. And he should stop picking on the poor beavers. Freakazoid is the reason I use the term poo gas. Oh, nasty poo gas. You know this is the best character in Freakazoid? Um, what's his name? Winslow? The cop. Hey Freakazoid, you wanna come with me and watch a bear ride around on a motorcycle? Yeah, sure. Or Cosgrove? Something like that. He'd just show up in the middle of episodes and just like do a complete non sequitur. Freakazoid would be in the middle of something, saving someone, doing something. He'd just drive up. Oh, that bear can really ride that motorcycle. Man, I really need to finish rewatching, or finish watching Freakazoid. And by finish, I mean like, probably restart because that was years ago. Anyway, that was a nice aside. Remove a card, shenanigans, baloney. Is a shenanigan also a baloney? Tonight at eleven. So, I'm unfortunately still sleepy. It's my fault. I've just like, it's, like it's my fault. I went to bed too late again. I saw that. Like I've at this point, I don't even have any context for the changes, so I'm like not concerned with them. I don't get anything extra by trying to go for shenanigans, so I may as well just get like an extra card remove, right? Seems valuable. And besides, if I card remove and then go this way where it's three hallway fights, I have a much higher chance of gaining back the extra damage I lost. Saw the new wish, and I think it's going to need some tweaking. But we'll see. I'll wait. I'll wait until it's all done. It's all good. I trust them. I trust them to take their time and make something juicy. As I always say, juicy juicy like Gary Busey. That's what I'm after. You know what I never did? I never went and checked out the block command. 
hold up for the the problems. Luckily, it's right near the top because it's alphabetical. Oh, wow. It is actually permission moderator. Who the hell did that? Well, I guess it would have had to have literally been me. Whoops. So that's why it wasn't working. I figured it out. D slime. Copying and pasting the info for New Wish and other streamers' channel. Nobody's chat could read. Thank you very much, JMM. Wow, these are good choices. I mean, you're a mod now, so you would have been able to do it anyway, but... Predator dagger throw. Predator seems fine. It's the one least affected by Lag of Woolen. And it's, you know, it's it's good in like all three of the fights. Because like card draw is never bad, it draws you into more attacks. On your next turn for Gremlin Knob, it's also two energy, so it's like you have a much higher chance of being able to uh, actually have three energy worth of damage in your hand with a Predator. Like a single dodge and roll. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've been watching VODs of uh, a different streamer who, like, he did this big donation thing. Um, and the stipulation was that for every $25 raised, he'd read one page of Homestuck. And they raised $220,000. <laughs> so he gets to read all of Homestuck, and I've been, I've been very much enjoying that. It's, I feel a little bit bad for him because he's dys dyslexic, and holy shit, are there a lot of words in Homestuck. And it's like, obviously reading it out loud, because it would be like, extra boring. If it were just like... Just the screen. I don't know how many people... Who are here now were here at the time when I was... Doing Homestuck stuff. But... I still kinda wanna... I wanna, like, finish reading it... On stream. But, I don't know... When or how... I'm gonna manage to do all of that. Crippling Cloud versus Piercing Whale. Is a tough, tough choice. I'm gonna take the cloud. All right, I've added two skills to my deck. Oh, should I have done that? Hmm. Next shop isn't for a while. Whew. Gotta chill. And I do this, and I full block. Suck my narts. Suck my narts. One damage. Okay. They put a movie on Netflix that's like Pink Floyd's The Wall. It's a movie, but with the whole length of the movie set to the soundtrack now dialogue. But the problem is the album it's set to hasn't been released yet, so you can't look up the lyrics. I have songs stuck in my head. Oh, I don't even know what I was saying about Freakazoid. I don't know what got me on that topic either. I was just saying things about Freakazoid. Oh, I was saying how, like, by the time they got around to Freakazoid, because there were a bunch of uh, cartoons that Steven Spielberg... Uh, like helped with that were super successful from Warner Brothers back in the 90s and it started with Tiny Toons and then Animaniacs and then Pinky the Brain which is a spin-off of Animaniacs because Pinky the Brain was one of the segments I was already halfway through a sentence um, and I was I was talking about by the time they got to Freakazoid because they'd had so many smash hit cartoons uh, by the time you get to Freakazoid like watching it now like it's clear like how far up their own asses they were. But like, in a way that's still kind of entertaining. And in a way that specifically reminds me of Homestuck. Because, like, Homestuck is also a work where, like... 
how would I put it? There are certain ways in which both mediums kind of disregard the audience. <laughs> Wheel of Morality, turn, turn, turn. Tell us the lesson we should learn. Oh, man. Oh, man, they got away with so much stuff because Steven Spielberg's name was on it. Yeah, those countries. And now, the nations of the world. I used to know that whole thing. And I don't mean like when I was a child. I mean, I never even saw that segment growing up. And then I discovered it in like 2012. And just like watched it so much. The best art is when audience... Okay, but no, I, I mean like... Freakazoid doesn't go as far as Homestuck does. In Homestuck, like... Hussy will like actively... Like prod the readership and fuck with them a bit um but like in a pretty light-hearted way but like in a way that's just like oh god damn it hussy but like so much of freakazoid was ad-libbed because they were because they from what i understand because this is also coming from um the commentary too which i listened to from what i understand they were just like so like felt so invincible in that like we can just like do whatever the fuck we want and it'll be a smash hit. And that's basically what Freakazoid was. Hey, Eater, how's it going? How was, uh... How was... Ritual of the Night? Blood Moon? I don't, I don't remember what the fuck it's called. Blood Stained Curse of the Moon Knight Phantom Lair. Oh, Problem Sleuth is so good. Greetings, that wolf from Hyrule? Wait, which wolf? There's only, like, one wolf I know yet. I know, from Hyrule. Or no. There's the Wolfos, which are like the Wolf Stalfos, and then there's- Oh no, 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 they're not Stalfos. The ones from Ocarina of Time are just wolves. Okay, never mind. There's multiple wolves in Hyrule. I lied. Blue Triforce. Bl Blyforce. Um, anyway, as much as a Piercing Whale would be cool, I don't- This deck is already having troubles with Gremlin Knob. I'm gonna take the footwork. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Wait. I wasn't aware of any that have a blue Triforce. Or... A blue Triforce at all. I'm gonna upgrade neutralize. I- like, I'd highly... Highly... Recommend Homestuck. Oh, gotcha. Like, in a way that would take me too long to articulate. I'm feeling fat and sassy. Thank you very much for the follow, that wolf from Hyrule. I haven't seen Looney Boy in a while. Alright, I'm also much sleep, but... Yeah, I know that feel, Eater. You have- you have your sleepin'. Dream of... Cute sheepin'. And... Hopefully, no one makes a peepin'. And wakes you up. Alright. That was my poem. Oh, you're staying? Okay. Alright. I'll take that. <laughs> Won't complain about that. Um, what was I saying? Oh, hey, a full work and then a bunch of cards I can't use. Do I want to blast him with this flex potion right now? 14... 25... 36? I could just kill the guy. Belfigor, be careful what you say, because I might have to change it now. I might have to change it now. And that, that, it's like a piece of history at this point. Because there are a lot of gifts in Homestuck. Change the, the follower thingy. The I'm feeling fat and sassy. The audio would still be the same. But if, if the claim is that Problem Sleuth has to be the superior one because that's the one I use as a GIF on my thing, then... Can't allow that to stand. Problem Sleuth is great, but it's like... How would I put it? Fine. <laughs> How's it going, a fast-ass panda? It's like... 
fluffy and buttery and easy and simple compared to Homestuck. Which is like tough and grueling, but unbelievably rewarding. Like Problem Sooth is fun. Problem Sooth is fun and great, but like I would not call it a great piece of literature. I'd call it a good piece of literature. I'd call Homestuck a great piece of literature. And, like, Problem Sooth does a lot of really cool things, like, that aren't just fun, but, like, it only goes... It only goes to the service of more fun. I'm fucking pissed and just got my ass clapped in Overwatch. Ah, I haven't played Overwatch in so long. We're talking about webcomics, Eater. Have you, have you ever read any of his other work besides Problem Sooth? Both on and off MS Paint Adventures. Old adventure games, that's fair. Jailbreak is good too. And Bard Quest is like too short to be anything but just like kind of funny. Jailbreak has a lot of toilet humor in it. Like it's the first one and like he moves further and further away from the toilet humor. Um, as he goes to the point where there's like basically none in Homestuck. And there's I think a little bit in Problem Sleuth but not much. Most of the humor is... Like, the early parts of Homestuck are very, very Problem Sleuth, because obviously he went from one to the other. Because they do a lot of the same things in that it's like a faux, like, video game kind of thing going on, where, like, the characters live, like, in reality, but there's all these, like, gaming abstractions. Um, they, they have, Homestuck has by far the shittiest inventory systems. Like, Problem Sleuth has the, there's a specific term for it, the items that become different items. Uh, innocuous double. That's, that was the term used. Uh, with, like, the keys and the guns and the chainsaw and the lipstick, yada, yada, yada. Um, but that, holy fuck, Hussie's, man, Jesus Christ. The, uh, the Silidex is, it's a nightmare, and I'm glad they don't exist in real life. Um, and then there's the intermission part of Problem Sleuth, which is, or the intermission part of Homestuck, which is meant to ape Problem Sleuth, because... He had an idea of doing a Midnight Crew comic, but then the Midnight Crew get wrapped up into Homestuck. And then there's the intermission, which is all the Midnight Crew. May have to retry to do Homestuck. I've gone through all the problems with in like three days. Fair enough. Looks like with the cryptograph. Oh, you mean, um... Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the one Carcat has. The one that, the, the vault. It's not called cryptograph. It's called something else. Encryption. Encryption is what it's called. I know the crypt part was right. No, it's the encryption mode is. Man, you want to know a teeny little thing? There's so many tiny things that you never even think about or even potentially notice in Homestuck. Um. Because what is it? It has to do with when John's getting the wallet. And it turns out... I don't fucking remember. I'd have to. I'd have to reread something. Because yeah, yeah, it plops into the safe. Yeah, it's just an even bigger safe. It's just like holy fuck. It's the dumbest shit in the world. That's probably the worst one because you have to be like a legit hacker to do anything with it. We just fought sentries. I got an egg. Frozen egg's really useful with warp tongs because like, you know, some cards exhaust, but like powers are always gone as soon as they're gone. I mean, there's also Kanaya's. Kanaya's would be really annoying. Oh, so, I'm sorry. I lied. The worst one's not encryption. The worst one's Miracles. Miracles is by far the worst fucking fetch mode is ever. Miracles is just like... No, 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 no. I like how you don't even get a... Uh... The new character's on the beta. So she's not officially out. I'm taking Masterful Stab. <laughs> how long you can prevent me from picking a card? Never! I'll just pick the wrong card, consistently. I'll just play more- oh, I'm an idiot. I'll just play more poorly, is all. I'll talk about Homestuck until, like, forever. I- I- I know for a fact, I know for a fact, that without any practice, or forethought, if I ever need to filibuster anything, I can do it easy. Easy with Homestuck. 
I could probably talk. If not for biological needs, I could probably talk for about two days straight about Homestuck. So, like, obviously, like I said, not, not counting biological needs, but... Homestuck's a webcomic, Smooth Balter. Um, you know what? There's, um... Homestuck is a is a comic that's particularly difficult to fucking describe, but there's a very, very, very good video that I'm going to link. Uh, what the fuck is it called? Here we go. Hi. Uh, this guy does a whole series of shit on Homestuck, uh, but his first video is, like, a very good way to, like, give you the basic rundown. Wikipedia Homestuck is not sufficient. Anyway, I'm gonna fight this man. Will I kill him? I win? Oh my god. <laughs> hmm, I'm starting to think, what would actually be more fulfilling? Yeah. A very basic rundown. Um... I was just thinking, like, wait, what would actually be more fulfilling if I end up streaming and, uh, to do it to make a living, or if I end up getting a bunch of people into Homestuck through streaming? I was just like... <laughs> Man, is it, a, is it a bad thing that one of those prospects excites me way more than the other? Why not both? Exactly. Exactly. That's the real... the real deal. I'm not taking Infinite Blades, because... Guardian? I'm gonna have to skip this, uh, second bonfire so I can get this pain out of my deck. As annoying as that is. Fucking yikes. Four plus nine is thirteen. Gonna take some damage here. Five plus nine is fourteen. The weakness helps, though. So I took ten damage? Wow, master full stab. How did I take damage for? Oh, I played two cards with the pain in my deck. That's why. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't have picked master full stab with the pain in the deck. Uh, there's like one card in my hand that does damage. I'm only being hit for fourteen. I'm just gonna block it all. Tell my brother to read my favorite book series as a birthday present. Oh wow, nice. Uh, I did a thing quite a long time ago where I... I actually have a separate Twitch channel called Math Stuck. That was just me reading Homestuck. But, like, I decided, like, because I wanted to... Because it's, like... Since I'm trying to, like, stream for a living, I've got to, like, really decide how I'm spending my time. I need to spend... I want to spend more time streaming. Um, but part of it is, like, should I just... The other problem is, like, the time slot that I have for streaming is just, like ass for you know anyone living in north america so it's like but all my midday streams that i do on my days off i usually try to do something that's not slay the spire because i play so much slay the spire as my regular thing so it's like get, the get good gotcha hey Bill blair joe how's it going but and i've been thinking about homestuck again recently so it's like i could keep reading homestuck i don't know when or how or I probably wouldn't bother with the second channel anymore, I'd just do it here, and anyone who's interested can be here and be interested, and anyone who's not can not. Attacks, attacks, attacks. I'll take a poison stab, we've got a Snacko Skull. I got a bunch of money. Oh, that footwork is a footwork, plus I buy a piercing whale. I buy a poison- we're gonna die to Gremlin Knob. Yeah, we are. Hello. It's screaming time. Join me for screaming and memeing. Saturdays only. Oh yeah, only if I fight him. Which is like a 50-50 chance. Also, my one potion is a fucking skill potion, so like... Great. You die! It might be. In which case, our deck is actually, like, really well kitted to fight him. It's also pretty well 
suited for uh, the big man. Just throw poison in him. Here in a crab. He's a leg of woolen. These are all skills, baby. Gonna take a second piercing wheel for a bouncing flask. Shit. Wait, use outmaneuver. Yeah, because I just predatored. I can say his name, but never for the life of me. L A G A V U I V U L I N. Pretty sure is the spelling. Huh. Okay, well, my defends defend for a lot, so it's probably worth it, especially, well, he's still super weak. His damage will only go up by, like, three. Definitely playing that, so he's going to take seven, then six, which knocks him down to eight. There's actually not eight damage there, so to ensure he dies. All right. Wow, I actually... That maneuver fucked. It would have fucked me if I hadn't done that. Art of War is pretty good. I don't think I need a second Masterful Stab. I probably didn't need the first Masterful Stab. How likely am I to need to nap? Pretty likely. I've added one block card to the deck. Piercing Well is not particularly good against the big attack. As much as I'd like to upgrade the footwork. Yeah, we definitely need more block in the deck. Man, it never hits dodge and roll. Disappointing. Oh, this already weakens him? Yeah, that's probably better then. I can save the crippling cloud for later. Just pop the essence of steel here. We should be fine. I need to get some poison on this man though. It's nice to have two piercing wheels before the end of Act 1. Let's do it like that. Because that way it's not the poison that flips him, so he doesn't keep his shield. We got some, uh, some pretty handsome relics out of Act 1. Not gonna lie. That's a lot of block. Damn. Damn! It's the casual 48 block in Act 1. Full blocked it. May as well use the Crippling Cloud. It's already upgraded. Yeah, a Noxious Fumes would obviously be super helpful. Because we've already got the, uh, the Skull. And the Poison cards. As our offensive scaling of choice. Perfect. A bunch of extra cards next turn, so I'm going to be able to block a bunch and then also probably hit him. Oh yeah, he's getting hit. Haven't actually needed to use Piercing Wheel at all in this fight. He's almost not weak again. What a shame. Oh, I have 24 block. Yeah, I could totally just hit him here. He's like dead next turn. Yeah, he is. Die. Good fight. After Image Plus is really nice. I already have two footworks, though. So, Corpse Explosion it is. Thank you very much, Tunnel Jumper. I almost skipped the chest. Sozu? Honestly, Ori is not terrible here, considering the Frozen Egg. But... 
Sozu's like a premium energy relic. Can't say no to Sozu. Can't say Nozu. To Sozu. What was it? No, it's Nezu is the name of the the mayor guy from Akira. And I'm pretty sure Nezu is literally just Japanese for rat. Oh, that sucks, Tunnel Jumper. I kind of like this. Two elites. Um, I don't really need to shop. I don't have a ton of money. It's not... Eh, it's like five hallway fights. What are my other options? We've got a Corpse Explosion, so... It's really good against Slavers. I've got two Piercing Whales. No well-laid plans, so... A little iffy on Book of Stabbing. I do have an okay amount of weak, though. And then Gremlin Knob is always just like a crazy shit show. The double footworks is pretty good though. Did I say Gremlin Knob? Gremlin Leader. Uh, this way has more bonfires, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Do it to it. Interesting. Well, the total lack of block in this hand is uh, a bit disappointing, not gonna lie. Take 11 damage for basically no good reason. The reason is I pick like one block card in all of Act 1. Because that's the reason. No, I should do it like this. Yeah. That way I knock his plated armor down twice. Excuse me. Uh, he's trying to frail me again. Keep that poison coming. We have one deadly poison, right? One deadly poison, one corpse explosion. Yeah, good a time as any for more corpse explosions. I'm gonna not play the strike, because I couldn't do damage with it anyway, and I get an extra energy out of Art of War. Doing it that way. I think you're dead. Oh yeah, you're dead. It's just a lot of weak for one energy. Hmm. So I got a corpse explosion. They have exactly 50 health each. Okay, so I have to just bum rush this man. Uh, I really need more block. Really need more block. Because this is getting... Mm -mm. No, obnoxious is too light a word. This is getting fucking dumb. This is getting lethal. This is getting deadly. This is getting close to ruining a good run. Every card I pick that's not block is just like... Uh, Griffin Cloud's so good! No, I can't afford that. I mean, it's pretty great when I mean, you don't have any block. Just apparition instead. Gives you time to get your footworks. Cool, now I'm only missing three health. Perfect. Watch as we just like get complete. Oh, tongs, tongs. I'm actually just not gonna play an apparition here because I'd have to play both of them for them to do anything next turn. What I am gonna do yeah, is that. Right. Uh... 
This isn't going well. This is going ra rather poorly, I'd say. I've lost. I mean, it wouldn't have gone much better if I did have the apparitions. I can almost full block this now. It's fucking useless. I'm not gonna play the strike, I'm just gonna have more energy next turn. Doesn't matter, he dies. Yeah, we need card draw. Card draw that's not Predator. I need backflips. Um. You're in some kind of danger zone. Okay. Well, really? Alright. Fucking sure. This is my whole goddamn turn. Well, I gotta kill them real quick now. Oh boy. Fucking all three of them. I'm about to not be able to play attacks. Really? You couldn't have made me vulnerable. You had to ensnare me? When I'm on a, the fucking clock? The clockiest of clocks? I could just kill him right now. Could have just killed him. These guys haven't taken damage yet. I need to deal like... Like 13 damage to this guy. Okay. We might be fine. I need like a blood vial or something. Okay, turns out we are fine. Give me that well laid plans. Okay. I get one more bonfire? Okay, we're upgrading footwork. Or juggling can be pretty good while you're intangible. Okay, 26. Fine. We're going we're going for him. Unless unless this fight just goes. Oh my fucking god. Is absolute bullshit? Yeah. I need block cards. Why wouldn't I weaken this guy? Or Chalcom being a champion here. So you're already dead. I mean, I may as well fucking use it, right? Yeah, this is rough. Having no apparitions and no footworks in play. Really need that card draw. Okay. At least... I'm not dying. <laughs> well, I lost the... What was it? 9 health that I just napped up. So... Almost the absolute bottom of the deck. Fantastic. The... <laughs> okay, never mind. I played one of the footworks. Still... I can't. I can't take it. It's not a block card. Every one I pick is just me being further and further away from every card that actually says block on it. I can't pick a second Corpse Explosion. I can't pick a third Crippling Cloud. As great as those cards would be, gotta fight them. Every silent card becomes Crippling Cloud of Corpse Explosion, yeah. Like, I picked up a blur. Not even a blur plus. At least that fucking blocks everything. Lord almighty. 
Of all eight plants was a pretty nice pickup, though. So this could still be a pretty rough fight. Yeah, we're fighting Automaton. I think I'd rather fight Collector on account of the horse explosions. Oh, I already blocked this with Orichalcum, so instead... I think I want to do that. Just hold the block card. Probably isn't wise without footworks in play. Never mind, totally fine. Is this? We got such good relics and such a good act one, but like the lack of block is re like literally actively killing me. That was like all of my block in the bottom of the deck. Take the piercing whale. Well. It's almost as good as block sometimes, except it doesn't scale with dexterity ever. Well, there's no damage in this hand. I mean, like, there's literally some damage in this hand, but that's not... That's not what I'm after. I'm gonna drink this. I should have drank it before I played the other one. I'm gonna have two less block, because he's about to go ape shit. And if I don't get... Okay, well, turns out I did get an apparition. And a piercing whale. I'm actually just gonna hold this apparition. Can't deal any damage to this guy. It's a good thing I have apparitions. Okay, so that was a total waste of a dex pot. I gotta drop Corpse Explosion soon, right? Okay. <sighs> yep. That's what this is for. <laughs> I put no poison on this guy. Fucking actually? Well, he's just dead. So, cool. Yeah, I wanted the Corpse Explosion because it, was, it would also kill this guy. Well, I mean... That is... 83 damage. That's a lot of damage! Thank you very much, JMM. We've used all of our apparitions because Corpse Explosion decided to be in the bottom two cards of the deck. Well, that's that run. Jesus Christ. I... I'm trying to think of a run that had... Another run that, like, went so far south just because of the, the cards we were offered in Act 2. Fuck. Like, we had... We had all the makings of a run that can just, like, absolutely go the distance. Then we just didn't get block commons. Okay, I picked blur because I was like, uh, it'll upgrade sometimes and we have a bunch of dexterity, so it'll do things. Fucking yikes. Maybe I should have worked on this guy more? I don't know. Shouldn't have put all my eggs in the corpse explosion basket. That's downright disappointing.
We never even got to use Smiling Mask. Like, really, that's... That's the worst case scenario. That's the worst possible timeline. Smiling Mask goes unused. Alright, well, let's be the defect. Like, we had we had apparitions, which will sometimes get upgraded. Obviously, we can see either Nightmare or Burst or Wraith Form or, like, any combination of those three. And then you're just, like... And then you just don't take damage for the rest of the run. <sighs> can I get a disappointed in chat? And I'm coming, Relic. She's a rick card. Disappointed! Thank you very much, Tunnel Jumper. Um, this seems like a reasonable path. Fireman, fireman. Fire. Yeah. Give me... Relico. It's okay, I guess. Excuse me. Not what I would have picked. I'm, I'm trying to think. What really... There aren't that many really bad common relics. Especially considering the common pool is the largest. What would... I'd be more disappointed with the boot. I wouldn't have been ecstatic about the mask. I imagine Courier's uncommon. I actually don't know. Yeah, I'm taking Defrag. As great as a Floor 1 chart or uh, Cold Snap is, Defrag is just such a power multiplier. To the point where you upgrade it over uh, Zap a lot of the time. It's just, it's just so much. Well, I wasn't expecting you. Card remove? I have not added a, an attack, but I also haven't added a skill. It doesn't exactly balance out. That's fine. I've got like one floor to find a suitable attack. Cool. I just have to hope really hard it's not Gremlin Knob, and that way I'll just kill Whoever it is with a bunch of five damage lightning orbs. Five, and then ten is fifteen. Yeah. I was just checking to make sure I had. Oh, wait. Oh, right. That goes up to four, not five, because I haven't upgraded yet. Okay, we still have lethal. It's just a much closer lethal. Almost screwed that up. I mean, Static Discharge... Yeah, this probably has to be the one I take, because I have no other attacks, so I need some other way to get damage out of my Lightning Orbs against Gremlin Knob without actually playing Zap, and that's... That's what Static Discharge does, so... Okay. We have one more opportunity. I'm just gonna hit this guy. Cool. Two damage, not a big deal. I'm just gonna hit him again. Don't really need to play the powers here. I've already got two powers in our deck. Both of the cards I've added to my deck are powers. Claw versus Compile Driver. I think I like Compile Driver here. Okay, upgrade the defrag. It's the big boy. We found him. He was here the whole time. Possibly I should have used my flex potion there. Alright, big boy. Do your worst. You know, maybe don't. Can I, uh, can I rescind that request? Okay, so he, he takes 10, then he takes 15 for 25. So I'd have to manufacture some way to deal 25 damage next turn? Nope. I can deal 18. If I play a zap... I get 25 damage this turn. 
plus another 15 for 40. So I play this one single zap. There's no point in playing a defend because the way the way the scaling with his strength works and the vulnerable it goes back and forth between him gaining 4 damage and 5 damage. So like it could play defend, he'd gain I'd block for 5, he'd gain 5 damage. It wouldn't make a difference. And on the off chance that I've somehow screwed this up, I won't make him angrier than I need to. Turns out I totally didn't. Perfect. Leapers, peepers. Where'd you find that, creepers? Well, I mean, we just fought Gremlin Knob, so I think I can take a leap now. Definitely nap time, though. I'm trying to look at the map. Oh, we got another bonfire. A lot of hallway fights, though. That's fine. Okay, I like Gremlin Horn, so now we want to fight sentries, probably, maybe? I mean, half the time you just, like, get an energy that you can't spend on a days you can't play. But still. Um, I think Static Discharge is probably pretty good in this fight. Since it's a series of much smaller attacks. We also have an Explosive Potion, which should help. I have a Kunai. I don't know that I'm gonna ever managed to make much of that, but we'll see. It's conceivable that this guy gets hit by two of these, so I'm gonna blast this out now. Oh my god, and he totally did. And that thing I said would happen totally happened. It was even more useless because my turn was already over. Yep. Yeah, Static Discharge is pretty good in this fight. Yeah. I was thinking about it, so I was, I was like, I haven't added a single attack to this deck, and it's like, I've added Compile Driver. Then I'm like, I'm already past both the elites in the axe, so... Take Genetic Algorithm. Alright, let's tango. I don't think a sludge can tango. Like, I, I think a sludge would probably be physically incapable of such feats. Get it? Because they don't have feats. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm dying a little bit. Let's try to fix that. Really glad I have that extra bonfire. Ooh, seven? Seven. Alright, so like, heat it. Heat each of you. Hit each of you once. We're all good. I heat each of you. Don't ever le let anyone heat each of you. It's degrading. Uh, I played the algorithm. I want to sweep a beam, beep a sweep, sweep a drape. Just gotta toss his flex pot. No, I don't want any of those cards. Hello, looter. He's a looter with a pooter. That's what his mom always called him. Beeping sweep. Yeah, you gotta get your beeping sweep. I'm taking damage, like, just round the fucking clock here. I think I can kill him. Especially if there's a dual cast. Dual cast dunk. Well, he's dead anyway. Hold snap. Just need frost orbs. Might be able to get away without block or uh, without napping at the next bonfire, depending on how this fight goes. Fight looks like it's going poorly. Is it 8, 12? I take 1 damage? That's not that bad. Okay. Well, another... What is that? 8 damage on top of that? That's kind of bad. Huh. So when I kill them at the end of my turn from a lightning proc... I draw the card, gain the energy, immediately gets discarded. When I draw a card on their turn from a lightning proc from 
an orb rotating, I draw a card. The energy doesn't do anything because it's their turn, but I get to keep the card. That's a strange interaction, not gonna lie. Probably didn't need to do that if I'm cold snapping here. Cool. Probably. I imagine it happens in like any multi enemy fight. I'm pretty sure. Alright. Um, my block is not terrible. I just added a bunch of glaciers. What if. I've got a skill potion? You know what? Upgraded Zap is just like a lot of free damage. Then again, so is upgraded Static Discharge, but it's sometimes harder to actually control in a way that's productive. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, these are actually some good cards. As great as Consume would be here. Get Static Discharge out of the way now. Okay. Total damage is not that bad. Exact split? I actually don't want an exact split. I'd want to split, you know, as deep into his health pool as possible, but... It's always cool. I can totally hit him. I got eight additional block. Perfect. Ready to get slapped. Yeah, force field down to two is like not the worst thing in the world. Seven. I'm gonna hit him and take one. I have an extra energy. Well, that was foolish of me. Yikes. Um, 20, hold up. I think I got this. Yeah, I do. Another perfect exact split. I like it. Need to get this orb slot filled up again. 14, 18 numbers. I should be able to hit him, right? Yeah, I only need 20. I think I have 22. Yeah, we're good. Seven, 11, it's 15 exactly. I was trying to take like one damage. So I could get an extra lightning orb. But it was not meant to be. Yeah, this deck is a little light on damage. Again, I'm pretty sure I added, what, two attacks? Yeah. It's really banking on Defrag and Zap to do a lot of the heavy lifting here. Uh, this looks like it could suck a lot. 21, 25, that's still 11 damage. Bummer. Oh, I should have just tried to split him. So now I should let these, because these both go off before he transforms. Pretty sure? Yeah, they do. Well, he's only got 18 health, so proportionally we're like... On the same wavelength, health-wise? Yeah, he's totally dead. I mean... It's Echo Form? It's Echo Form. It's Echo Form. Fusion Hammer? It's Fusion Hammer. It's Fusion Hammer. I had the split. I 
Oh, did I? Hmm. Well, sucks for me. Compile driver is seven damage. Yeah, it's definitely not the other two. It's fusion hammer. Okay, Collector, who are we good against? Who are we bad against? Who are we having a great time against? Static Discharge can potentially get us dealing a lot of damage against Book of Stabbing, but that also usually requires Book of Stabbing to do a lot of damage to us, unless I've got Frost Orbs up, which I guess I can do. Genetic Algorithm's at 9. We've got 4 Energy. Echo Form. Gremlin Horn. Some money. Power would have got that, and then dual cast with a double the lightning orb. Didn't I have a frost orb in front? Didn't I have frost, lightning, frost? I was pretty sure I had to, like, dig with Compile Driver to get enough damage. I had Lightning Frost Lightning. Mm. Well, like I said, bummer. Bummer for me. I could have had more health right now. Rip. But thank you. Yeah, that path's like not pickable. I don't want the two shops that close together. I think we're just taking one elite then, because the paths with more than one elite are uh, suspect at best. Okay, this is a pretty good start, I would say. I think I want to... You know what? We'll cast it. Well, it does matter, because he hit me for 11. Which basically means... What is that? So I have like four less health than I would have. Yeah. Play those cards. I know I make this excuse all the time, but I'm also very tired. Uh, right, the doubling. See, I make that mistake without being tired all the time. I've got Static Discharge up. Doubled, in fact. Double this one. I'm already full blocking? Uh, let's deal a shitload of damage then. Okay, cool. He's gaining more shield here. Full block? Nice. Okie dokie, he's only got like 11 health. Uh... Wait. Wait. Oh, I could've just doubled the dual cast. Whatever, this works too. I don't think I care for Sweeping Beam. I think I like a Swift Pot over a Strength Pot here. Given the infrequency of attacks actually in the deck. You know... This potion's gonna get less and less useful as I'm doing more and more Frost Orb things. Just gonna pop that bad boy right now. Cool. Got like two damage or seven damage or five damage. Yeah. All right, we want to double that bad boy. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. Thank you, Snowdrift. 
Um, yeah, I don't have echo form up currently. So I probably don't want to compile driver. Because I take a bunch of damage. That's a no-no. Eh, still taking three. Blocks for 11. Yeah, we're fine. Obviously, self-repair would be great here. Considering the echo form. That's a lot of block. Just saying. That's a lot of block. I think I want to keep my frost orbs. This man still has like a ton of health. Thank you very much, Pelfigor. I love the little black. I don't know if you're familiar with the the actual uh, visuals of that commercial, but like you, a little a little one of them like jumps up from the bottom of the screen and blocks a odor with his butt. It's great. We're at sixteen. Oh hey, I gained a dexterity. Oh hey, I did that twice apparently. Hmm, I guess Echo Form makes Kunai a lot better, doesn't it? Kinda does. Power! I've got the, um... I've got, like, the Overwhelming Power command, which is just, like, Colossus Scream. But I could also have Terry Crews screaming power as some kind of command. I wonder if I can like, I wonder if I can randomize like what audio command a certain textual command activates. So I could have like three for uh, overwhelming power. I could have the Colossus scream. I could have the, the Senator Palpatine quote, which is where that comes from. The unlimited power as he's like shooting lighting at Mace window. Windu, Jesus Christ, Mace Window, Mace Window. I mean, he flew out the window. Mace Window. Fuck, man. Um, and then we can have Terry Crews screaming about power. One health. Casual fifty-six. See you later, bitch. Well, you know what? Give me one more cold snap. Ooh, hmm. Well, this isn't great. Fucking yikes. Gotta double that bad boy. Um, I actually didn't take damage. That's a miracle. Maybe I just don't play Echo Form? That seems bad. But maybe it's what I do. Six. How much extra block do I get? Three? Yeah, fuck it. No, we're, we're playing Echo Form. Rip three health. This idiot's, like, going to Buff Town, USA. Oh, I get a Gremlin Horn. 14, 18. So that's full block. Start punching his nads. Perfect. Buff Town is near Flavor Town? I don't know. I've clicked outside. What about, um, Juggalo Island? We got Flavor Town, Buff Town, Juggalo Island, and the Fawn's Pond. These are the mysterious locales of ancient legend. And slightly less ancient rap song.
Yeah, we're cold snapping. We're snapping and fapping. Oh, yeah. Mr. Krabs. Maybe in the middle of Buff Town and Flavor Town is Buffet Town. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, the gangster's paradise. Hmm. Somebody needs to write this down. I need to know where all these things are. We need to go on a quest. Also, we need to find the Dark Carnival. So we got Flavor Town, Buff Town, Juggalo Island, Fawn's Pond, Gangster's Paradise, Dark Carnival. Is there a Flavor Country? I'm unaware of any such country. Weirdest D&D setting? I don't know, man. I don't know. Have you ever seen Gamma World? Gamma World is, uh... Gamma World's very out there. Yeah, man. As I understand it, Gamma World is like... Take a bunch of alternate dimensions, slam them together, and then it turns out 90% of all those alternate dimensions were also just happened to be post apocalypses. Flavor countries from a 90s Marlboro ad. Gotcha. I I'm not sure I've ever seen like I've I've seen them like on, you know, YouTube or like whatever. Like I don't think I've ever seen an actual cigarette commercial like on TV as an advertisement. Flavor country? Are we talking about tobacco? Man, I haven't seen Simpsons in so long. Main Force Body is pretty good when you echo form it. I don't know, I feel like this deck needs more oomph. Ah, I have to stick to print. Gotcha. I thought Rifts was like a bunch of different settings. Honestly, you know a setting that's like really crazy, but you have to like dig to find all the craziness? Like it seems like just like a cool, interesting setting on the surface, but then the more you get into it, the more like just like insane it is, is Exalted. Exalted is like just like a, just a bundle of nuts. Any setting where a core character concept is called Glitter Boy is absurd. Are you sure that's not, uh, are you sure that's not Vampire the Masquerade? Insert, definitely not dated, uh, Twilight reference here. Is it a lot of nuts? Does he get five pounds of nuts? Or one pound, I don't remember. He gets some amount of pounds of nuts. Glitter boys are the mech pilots. Don't open the bundle? Hey, Levi, how's it going? More swords. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I modded a bunch of people. I also found out that the block command was accidentally set to mod only, which is why it wasn't working for some people. So we tested it. And so I made some people mods. Specifically, Belfigore, Tunnel Jumper, and... Having a brain fart. They were here yesterday, and I'm pretty sure they're here right now, and I've literally... Responded to them in chat. It wasn't Iggy. JMM. Right. Sorry, JMM. No joke, Live High. I saw you type JMM and I read it as hmm. And then and then Belfigore did it in caps. And I was like, gotcha. Anyway, where were we? Uh, I was debating Reinforced Body. I don't think I need it. Jum. 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 I might start pronouncing it like that. Hmm. Is that Spanish? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, ha, ha gotcha. Well, piss. You literally can't escape this. Like, you have to click on cards. Thank God. Wow, the cards in that selection were dog shit. <laughs> Oh, there's a reboot in my deck. That's great.
Okay, we got energy, we got swift potion. How much do I get out of this energy pot? Like four block and some damage? Seems fine. Oh, actually, fuck that. There we go, just full block it. Yeah, that's a much smarter plan. Double, 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 WB. 19, 20 numbers. Thank you very much, Live High. I mean, do I want to reboot? There's like nothing in my discard. Eh, fuck it. Draw me four new cards. Cool. Gained a dexterity off of it. I'll take it. I don't think any of them have had a chance to like really break in their sorting duties yet, but... Because, I mean, our chat is usually, like, pretty chill and not rambunctious. We get the occasional, uh, individual slash bot. Fair enough, Belfigor. I think this is less, like, uh, like, open carry and more, like, the police? Please don't turn on emote only chat. Would it be chaos? Would it be? Because as I understand it, emote only chat is for like, stopping spoilers and stuff. People who don't want to be spoiled about things. Like, it's it's chaos if you're a streamer who's streaming, like, something popular and you have, like, a thousand or something viewers. Because, like... And then, and then it's just, like, this, like, waterfall. Upward waterfall? Water... Rise? Emote rise. It's an emote rise. There we go. Coin the term. It's official. It's an emote rise. Rise of the emotes. Man, this deck sure doesn't do damage quickly. Remember the blade length limitation? Someone will eventually find a way to spoil via emotes. You just use a uh, use um like better Twitch TV and make enough custom emotes that you can start printing out a specific message. Oh, that was Final Fantasy VIII. And Squall and his uh, gun blade. Although technically, I think uh, that's in fourteen now too. Texas is Final Fantasy VIII now. Okay. Oh well, I mean, seven has Barrett, and he has a gun for an arm. Do I want a claw? I don't think I have enough card draw for a claw. Oh, 13 had a gun sword? I don't know, I never played 13. Hmm. Monster Hunter World. Monster Hunter World. I've been thinking. I'm not gonna lie. I've been leaning towards, like, maybe Minecraft. It's replacing your arm with a gun. Hmm. Like, as far as, like, a re like an extra thing for me to stream, um, I, I, I was about to say out loud, I should do it in this order so I draw an extra card, and then I realized right after I played the Cold Snap, that means if I draw Echo Form, I can't play it, but... <gasps> I totally can play it! I have a Graveling Horn! Okay, well, that was serendipitous. It'll probably be us first. There's a word. Serendipitous. I forgot I had doubling. You know, fuck, I should have just used the draw pot instead of wasting my energy for no good reason. Should have, like, had a turn that did something. 
Well, this is a pretty good time to play this one. God, Echo Form Genetic Algorithm. So good. Just block for 52, one energy. Blizzard would be pretty good, yeah. We've got a decent amount of Frost Orbs, and... Like, Echo Form makes Blizzard... Like, four times as good. It scales twice as fast, and you play it twice as often. Every time he drives through my street, it's called School or Prison. Wow. Um... That sounds kind of scary. <laughs> 43, 48. So I'm full blocking this. I'd like to double this, but eh, whatever. Really need this guy to die. Please, please, sir, and Jesus, let the lightning hit that front man. Oh, farts. Well, I mean, it technically did. Literally turned into a prison. That's a bummer. God damn it. Put the shield on this fucking idiot. Hold up. 8. 12. Just making sure I've got enough block. He's guaranteed to attack me next turn because I'm not going to kill these other guys. Brain! 16! 16 is the number. Yeah, that kills him. Oh. Oh! Yes, indeed! Why didn't I just draw? That's a lot of bullshit. Of course. Of course that's who the lightning orb hit. Okay, well, fortunately, I've managed to scale up. This is still... I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh no, I'm not! Because Static Discharge is a good fucking card, ladies and gentlemen. It is made for champions, made by champions. It's a good card. Snowballage is real? Yeah, well, I mean, we, we can snowball backwards. What would you call that? Um, I guess it would still just be a snowball. But like, uphill? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Or what... Not... What Belphegor is saying, I'm sure, is making sense. He's the most Texan person. I don't know... I'm not sure I've ever met anyone from Texas. I'm just gonna kill this guy. Peesh. That actually wasn't that bad. I lost like 20 health. I don't think I even used a potion. No, I used that earlier. Speaking of potions. Still don't have enough card draw. I'm gonna skip the recursion. God damn it. Wasn't literally like my last event also a hallway fight? Eh. They're like good events in this act. I'd like to get at him. Do I need to echo form here? It would be handy. But uh, not taking 24 would also be handy. So, priorities, you know? Okay, four damage is fine. I see. I was- I looked over at your message like four times, JMM, trying to figure out what on earth its possible meaning could be. And it just hit me now. Thank you very much for that enlightenment. I'm gonna dig for a third attack to proc Kunai. Yeah, baby. That discharge is decent here. Yeah, it's a lot harder to proc that kunai without... Hello. You're not getting doubled anyway, so... See you later. Perfect. Uh, 
15, 19 larger numbers. I mean, I'm not going to be able to finish this fight without playing attacks again, so I might as well just pop this here. So that way I can get it higher over the course of the fight. Icecock is really good in a lot of fights. Yep. I will take an Ancient Tea set. Helps uh, when you get Echo Form turn one. Twenty four puts me down to what? Fifty four max HP. Biting, 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 biting. I can double bites. Doesn't mean my deck gets a little fatter. I think I'm gonna decline. I almost just played the genetic algorithm like, reflexively. I don't have any AoE. Can I end this fight fast enough for Bias Cog to do its stuff? Vampire Robot? Yeah. I think maybe I can. Oh, damn. Especially if I get to double de defrag, which doesn't look like I do. It's gonna do this. So we're taking some damage here. Sharknado levels of please stop? What? Oh, I see. Like Vampire Robot. Man, I. You don't even know. You don't even know. Oh boy, Sharknado's nothing. Let me put it to you this way. Um, I can't describe the thing I'm thinking of without, without fear of getting in trouble from Twitch. I do. I can not tell you where you can find these things, though. I will warn you. It's, it's like a humorous website, uh, but like the subject matter of some of the things on it are... Boy, oh boy. There's a website called headinjurytheater.com and it's kind of an eclectic website. It's kind of like a guy's personal website where he's got like a bunch of his stuff up there. And uh, he's got a movie review section and he reviews a ton. He was doing like oh, like bad movie reviews like a decade before it was cool. I found this website in like 2004 and it's still up. Yeah, this was before people did video movie reviews because YouTube didn't exist yet. Um, so it's text and, like, pictures, like, stills from the movie, but, like, it's so well written. It's, uh, Jared Von Hindman, who's the guy who does it, is, uh, he's a really funny guy. Um, yeah, there's a specific movie I'm thinking of. There's, there's a ton of just, like, whole, what the fuck on that list, um, but it's good stuff. I'm being attacked. That's dumb. I all of my frost orb cards are in here, and all of my genetic algorithm is in there. Hail Mary. Eh. Aha! I'll take it. Really need these guys to start being dead. I don't think I'm playing Echo Form. Or am I? No. Twelve, twenty-two, thirty-two. If I pop this right now, that should be full block. Okay, I think I got this. Yikes. So, 
I need a zap. I need a zap. I need zap right off the top. No. No. My orbs are winding down. I don't want to use my pen nib. Not my nib. Fuck. Well, I have to use my nib. Even more frost orbs. No. No. Do I want, like, one more lightning orb, though? No. No. Oh, right. Can only nap. We got a good amount of money for the shop, though. We got a good amount of energy for this fight. Yeah, I might end up just using the swift bot turn one of the boss fight, because we'll have six energy. Uh, I can't block that much anyway. Gross. We got, like, nothing better to do than nap. <laughs> Double reboot. There we go. That's what I like. Yeah, so taking damage here isn't that bad. I'd have to have taken, like, no damage in this fight for me to grab the key instead. That wasn't likely to happen. Hmm, I used Bias Cog on, like, turn one of this fight. Did I use Defrag already? Yeah, I guess. But that actually gives me, like, a heck of a time limit. I mean, it kind of does. Depends on how fast I can scale Kunai. Reasonably fast. 12, 15, 18. Alright. Yeah, Blizzard would be really nice, because it gives me another form of scaling that's not dependent on uh, my focus. Here we go. Alright, front guy's dead. The rest is easy baby cakes. We're sitting at 4 dexterity off of just Kunai. That's a lot of damage. Good thing my actual block cards still block. May as well just compile driver at this point. Damn it. Yeah, I've got like no other way to kill her. I don't really need another genetic algorithm. But I like a charge battery. Hmm, I've already added a couple extra attacks in this axe to this deck. Then again, I have no other card draw. Take the battery. Alright, what do you got for me, shopkeep? Well, there's a self-repair. We have a bias cog in the deck. We have a bias cog in the deck. Taking the pellets. And chill. And we out. Yeah, that was a good chop. Do I actually not need to nap here? Now that I quite possibly uh, don't even lose focus from Bias Cog, I might not need to nap at all. I might not need to nap. Taking the key. Saving naps for future emergencies. Well, we win. I won the fight. Not even gonna bother using this. I just won the fight. Oh, if I if I hold on to like the static discharge, I can also get rid of all his bullshit. What am I waiting for? Yeah, no, I'm just gonna like not play static discharge. Wait for him to put all the baloney on me, and then Remove all the baloney. Assuming I don't already have a different power in my deck. It's like... You know what? I should have played the... I forgot about self-repair. I should have played the static discharge and waited on the self-repair. That would have been smarter. Still want to double it, though. Uh, that's enough, right? 26, 38, 40... Oh. 
Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. I have another 18. <laughs> I have another 18 around me. I was thinking in my head and then type my thoughts, questioning whether what I was thinking was accurate. And they weren't, so now I leave you all guessing what I was thinking. I'm, I'm going to assume you were thinking about Cheddar. Some kind of Cheddar mystery had you perplexed. I actually don't want to draw Bias Cog here. Because I want to double it. I guess I, like, do this. And I also don't want to reboot here for, like, I want to draw Bias Cog next turn and then become all-powerful. So with the ability to double a Bias Cog and not lose focus, um, Orb Slots become way better. You know, maybe... If I double Bias Cog, hold up. 8 times 3 is 24. Plus 18, excuse me, is 34. 30, no. 34, 42. That's 42 block right there. As long as I play, like, Defend and Cold Snap. No, no, I'm doing the math. Because I also won't be vulnerable as well. So they'll actually be doing less damage. Um, where were we at? I was at 42. Cold Snap will get me... How much more? 14, 42, 17. Old well, Snap will get me 17 block. 42, 59. I already have the power to cleanse. This is a power. This is the. Po That's why Bias Cog Orange Belts is so good. Because Bias Cog is already a power itself. Yeah, it's busted. You can do the same thing with Wraith Form. You can do the same thing with Berserk. The. the the one, the cr criteria that's hardest to meet is on the card that you're cleansing the debuff from. So you're just like, you're just fine. Um, where was I? 59? It's two thirds of 18. 12? I'm taking 24 plus 26, which is 50. So I should be fine. Even without playing the defend. But I obviously have to play the defend to actually get rid of the debuff. Also, this guy just, like, dies. See you later, bitch. I'm not even gonna, like, hit this guy. Yeah, well. I lied. Just casually block for 79. Best power into st oh wow that would be really weird, that would be really weird. A card that puts a status into your deck, but it's a status that does something if you play it. Yeah, no, this is like I said, we're in we've activated baby mode. Yeah, I definitely didn't need to nap. Took like one hit and then was good forever. Sure, double that one. Cleanse all my debuffs again. That's cute. Loop would be pretty good here, too. I'm not taking damage, am I? Nope. Wait, maybe? Hold up. Fuck! That's fine. Um, I may as well just, like, play this now. Thank you very much, Levi. Static Discharge for all that damage you're taking. <laughs> he has no ass, so he wants mine. Um... It depends on what else is there. Insert is pretty good. But... I'd probably still pick a Sozu over it, and then we just need more card draw. This deck doesn't need Inserter. Like, it really doesn't. It helps a lot against, um... Awakened One? But, if you can play Double Bias Cog without losing focus... Like, that's the power of four Defrag Pluses. And Defrag Plus is usually good enough... It usually gives you enough value to play it against Awakened One. 
So getting something that's four times that good is just like, I just like don't need non-power scaling. Bias Cog just does it. Like I play Echo Form, I double defrag, I double Bias Cog, I keep Frost Orbs up. And I just tell him to eat shit. I just like don't play these two. Anyway. Gonna hit these guys. I'm gonna just exhaust this, like, now. And do a little bit more punching, because why not? <sighs> yeah, they're just, like, not threatening at all anymore. over here casually blocking for 90. What did that even discard? I thought it was, was that Glacier? It was Glacier. Happened so fast. Whoops. Use my pen nib. I'm gonna try to... You know, I should just stop hitting him. Because, like, if this lightning hits him, it just, like, deals so much damage. Yeah, loop would be great. I need to kill this guy. Yeah, I'm not really not dealing a lot of damage to this guy. He's just, like, slowly buffing up. Here we go. Alright, remember that thing I said about not dealing a lot of damage? Well, I found it. Yeah. It counters the debuff. It works the same way with Wraith Form and with Berserk. I've had runs where... I have orange pellets, I have like orange pellets, five energy, nightmare ray form, and mummified hand, and you're just like, oh. Oh. You just kind of go nuts. I've also had runs with kunai and ray form. I've had, I had one run with kunai and I had double ray form. And I was actually able to keep my dexterity going up versus double ray form. Yes, you can use it with flex. That's true. Or with the speed and steroid potions, just in general. Um, I'm gonna punch this guy. I mean, it's pretty much the same as using artifact. Um... 50, hold up. That is 70 damage. Wow, these block for a lot. I built myself up to 7 dexterity. I'm actually taking damage here. 3? Wow. It's like the second time this whole fight I took damage. Crazy. Uh, yeah. Puts the pen in, but... Oh, he died to the lightning. I was trying to put the pen at 8 with the double cold snap. I'm not very good at getting up to 5 energy. Do I take the meteor strike and just hope there's a good energy relic? Because when you got echo form and meteor strike, some absolute magic happens. Wait, what happened? Leap creeping up in the corner? What? I didn't see what you're referring to. Buffer's not bad. What if I just never get to cast Meteor Strike? Taking Meatball will summon the snack? Is that what this is? Meatball? Was it the leap, like, trying to come out of the deck, like, trying to get drawn? Because I killed, uh, the big guy and it procs Gremlin Horn? Yeah, 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 No, 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 I know what that was. That was Gremlin Horn. That was Gremlin Horn trying to draw leap. 
No, I think I know what you've talked what you're talking about, and I've seen that sort of thing before. I don't know how much I want Snekoi. Do we need more card draw? There's a chill in this deck? Another interesting thing, if you have Snekoi and you proc orange pellets, all the cards no longer randomize when you draw them. They'll stay the same cost they were last time you saw them. So things that got randomized to more expensive, they'll, they'll stay the exact same. Um, so that's sometimes useful, sometimes dangerous. <laughs> the only way I play Leap right or uh, Meteor Strike right now is if I charge battery. I've only done it like twice. I don't get orange pellets that often. It worked out pretty well for me. Every time I did it. I think maybe I just skip. I already have one rare that I can feed to the bonfire spirits. I don't really need a second one. Okay. I'm gonna go refill my water and use the bathroom before I make decisions. Yeah, Crown's not bad. Going into Act 3, we don't really need the Frozen Core. How good is Pyramid? I'm not that worried about the combo, because, like, the card, again, the, the card you have the least amount of in your deck is going to be Power, and the card that we need to use Orange Pellets with is a Power. And we got a pretty good amount of attacks. I was, I've been, I was picking attacks, you know... Up into Act 2. I guess one attack. Got Compile Driver. I don't think it's strictly necessary. And worst case scenario, if I don't manage to remove the debuffs uh, with the Bias Cog, I can probably just remove them in a later turn with like a Self Repair or a Static Discharge or something else. Like, what cards would we need at this point? Like, one capacitor, like, and we'd basically be done? Not even. Like, Kunai is so good. So good with Echo Form. I've already got the Self Repair, I've already got Genetic Algorithm. We can do a lot of baloney with five energy. Taking the crown. Okay, time eater is... I don't anticipate time eater being a problem. Especially if I see a capacitor. Blizzard would be great. I have to fight the Flamio Hotman. There he is. Should have a decent amount of money by there. Okay, yeah. I'll, hmm, it's two elites in a row, though. I have a self-repairer in the deck. Win more, not just win more cards, but also cool-headed. 
Uh, well, Cool Headed Plus specifically. If I just saw like four copies of Cool Headed Plus, and those are the only other cards that got into my deck, I'd be like, I'd be fine. Nah, 12 focus is enough focus. You know, if I double this and double this. Well, actually, hmm, maybe not. Hmm. Damage might still be a little low. Yeah, Blizzard would definitely clean up our damage. So the only downside here is that it's two elites without a bonfire in the middle. Oh, it's actually the same number of bonfires. I feel like this deck is strong. Who does this deck have problems against? Reptomancer? It's always Reptomancer. One Dark Orb with all that focus. I rotate orbs too much though. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna be danger boys. Right now. So this shop is gonna be really important. I don't want bottle bias cog. I wanna double the bias cog. No, 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 no. No. Echo form goes in the bottle. Not bias cog. Cool. Cleanse all my debuffs. I don't actually have an attack in my hand this turn. Turn two bias cog. Yeah, maybe. What is that? Twenty four? Yeah, I can block that. Definitely need more card draw. You know what? Actually, yeah, not even upgraded cool headed because I've got five energy. Just a regular cool headed would be fine. Well, I can't bust this man. But I. Can oh. I could have busted that man. What I can do instead is ignore him. I didn't get to double the genetic algorithm. But we're at the point where, like, it doesn't matter. Once Genetic Algorithm hits, like, 30-ish... Like, you're fine. It's it's just gonna block all the damage. <laughs> Especially if you already have Echo Form out, and you're just like, Oh yeah, it just blocks for, like, 117. No biggie. I have five energy now, bitch. Um, I'm actually fine with, like, the single defrag. It's already a one-cost Impervious Plus. Holy fuck. Yeah. Oh, double reboot. No! See you later. Alright, I have to, like, not deal damage to this guy. That double charge battery, though. You know, I could have totally taken the Meteor Strike. Um, shit, how is this gonna work? Oh, it's not? Mm. Whatever, I don't need the Bias Cog. This man hits me for no more than nine, and I block for eight every turn, minimum. There we go, that's what I need, baby. Very, very slowly die over the course of the next five turns. Oh, okay, here we go. Crank out some damage. Huh. That's all the damage I can crank this turn. He's at 19. literally need to wait for zap at this point i was just hitting him to increment the pen nib a bit okay no here we go now i can give him the real smackdown you know what in case i don't find more damage for the heart this liquid bronze uh i'm clicking it
This is gonna be like my one fucking upgrade I get. Bias Cog? It's gotta be Bias Cog. It's either Bias Cog or Consume, and I don't have any extra orb slots. If I did, I it, if I had a, even just a regular capacitor in the deck, I'd do the Consume. But I don't. It's either that... Static just No. No. It's a lot of value. Um, I actually don't want to go to that shop. Do I? Don't I? Nope. Would have liked the data disc, rip. That's fine. It's just seeing, just in case there was a capacitor in there for like 70 gold. Um, I'm gonna fight these boys. Because I've got self-repair and like two bonfires. With nothing to do with them but nap, because I already have the key. Upgrading charge battery? That's not, honestly, not a terrible upgrade. Um, wow, fuck. Me frost orbs? Yeah, that works. I'm still taking damage. Right? Oh, wow, I'm actually not. I don't have Echo Form in play yet. They're hitting me very hard. God damn it. On the plus side, there's like 27 free block hovering above my face. I still don't have Echo Form. Kinda need it. God, I wish I had like a, a letter opener or something. The choppy one. Well, I mean, Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm so glad I picked up this genetic algorithm earlier. Hey, I cleansed all my debuffs. This got so far out of fucking hand. Holy fuck. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play it by itself. Uh oh. Wait. That's uh kinda sucks. No, you need to die. You need to die now. I've like never had this fight go this fucking long. Holy shit. This is bad. Okay, that was rough. No, thank you, Turbo. Howdy, Kale. The... In Joker? So I'm checking out this head injury theater and falling down a rabbit hole of mid-2000s weird internet. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I'm aware I can only nap. Did I say something about not napping? Oh, hey, I can just, like, hit an event. I need, like, 50 gold from that fight. Fuck. Well. You know, maybe the double elite thing is, like, not a great idea. Starting to have my doubts about it. I mean, it's too late now, but I guess Stone Calendar might do something. Yeah, we're good. Echo, 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 echo. Um, I can dual cast. Hold up. Because that is 19. Actually, you know what? I don't even need to. I guess I'll punch first. Ask questions later. Defrag is one less block. That's fine. I'll take three damage. We got a self repair in the deck still, which I will now double. 
and reboot. Just like fill my hand with actual cards. He's gonna be dead soon, so I'm just gonna play this now. And get back to punching. No, I could have doubled the strike. Fuck. And killed him. Yeah, I should have done it that way to increment the pen nib. I... Well, you know what? Actually, give me one sweeping beam. In case of Reptomancer. Break sweeping beam. I have to give this up. I have to give this up. Oh, we're not making that mistake again. Okay. Uh... My damage is, like, actually kind of low against Nemesis. Like... Yeah. Actually, rather low. I've just been scouring every shop for either a Blizzard or a Capacitor. Because the Capacitor will at least let me hold, like, two Lightning Orbs at the same time. I don't know why I bothered doing that. Because I wasn't paying attention. I will consume once. Throw lightning. Honestly, that static discharge upgrade would have been really good. Fucking yikes. I found the echo form, but... Uh... Alright, well, that's what the self repair is for. This bad boy. Welcome if you got him. Debuffs. And again. Ruffle cards. Hey, Bang Bus, how's it going? Haven't seen you in a while. I think we got time. Okay, that's all the focus we got. I'm going to take a little bit of damage here. Some calendar. Making this fight much quicker than I thought it was going to be. Um. Hmm. Actually, hold up. Get rid of both of the lightning orbs here so I don't accidentally kill them before I get to play genetic algorithm. He says he's new. I don't know if I believe that. Oh, fuck, what am I doing? I can't draw, otherwise I could draw into the genetic algorithm. Well, you know what? I don't actually need to double it. Well, this is... Oh. Actually, fine. Just stop, because I don't want to kill him. Gives me an obscene amount of block. Yeah, we're fine. There we go. Alright, let's kill this guy. If I kill him, I guess I mean maim him. I actually have to use up my pen nib to kill him. Because the only other way I get a lightning orb is... Well, I either take damage... There we go. Or I find Zab. So I just stop? Oh shit, he's not... <sighs> Wasn't tangible. There! Okay, so I'm missing, like, actually 30 HP. I'm gonna take Claw. Because we can double scale it, and it helps proc Kunai. And we're, like, running out of options. <laughs> like, actually. Maybe I shouldn't have taken the Busted Crown. Like, I'm starting to have some doubts about it. This... Wow. Yep, I'm gonna take some damage here. A lot of damage. I'm not looking forward to that Super Elite fight all of a sudden. I wonder how that happened. 
Fuck me. I played a skill? God damn it. Yeah, I don't know if you want to get too hyped about Claw, Crazy Evan. I'm not sure we're gonna get to use it. God damn it. What did I just toss? I think I just tossed Bias Cog again. I'd very much like it if I could play Echo Form. Yeah, we lost a lot of damage. <laughs> Kinda wish this was an event. Alright, found the Echo Form. I'm taking like 7,000 damage though. Just some kind of bullshit. If I died. Oh, wow, it died. I told you, I literally didn't even get to draw and play Claw. There was no Claw hype. No laws when you're playing Claws. But I didn't. I didn't play Claws. Yeah, we had no AoE in the deck. Uh, we also had no damage in the deck. We also had no card draw in the deck. We were really good at blocking. <laughs> huh. Do one more. I'm super tired, but fuck it. It's a butt with two T's, but fuck it. That's what we're doing. Turn around, whale. I've got a present for you. This isn't just for stabbing dudes. I guess it's never for stabbing dudes. If you look at the shape of it, you like really can't stab with that sword. That's a that's a big choppa. As the orcs would say. <laughs> I heard a, a phrase that's um like basically similar to not with that attitude. But I like it better. It's called Not With That Stinkin' Thinkin'. It's like, I like that. Rhymes, it's good. Is it weird to be attracted to the whale? Uh-huh. Everything's weird at some point, probably. Stab with anything. You're gonna attempt to stab. I don't think you're successful without penetration. South American thing? What, stabbing with a blunt sword or being sexually attracted to whales? Oh, stinking thinking. Probably. I'd only... I heard it... I actually know exactly when I heard it. I'd only heard it... What is it? September? Five months ago for the first time? Oh, fair enough. South American thing. I wouldn't know. Who's attracted to the whale? You know what? Don't tell me, actually. I've decided I don't want to know. These paths suck. Fuck. Uh, oh my god. This fucking court. Jesus. It's either like two elites, one bonfire, or two bonfires, one elite. Or. I stop. Thank you for the Kirby praise given. You know what? This is a good position. I don't lean back like this very often. Though it, it limits my mo motion because, like, I can't sit up because the microphone's, like, right here. Why don't we get super personal? Why don't we get right in the business? How are you guys doing today? Did you eat any cheese? Did you, uh, pet any bees? Is all the characters sugar daddy? Oh, you know what? I realized that puts the microphone right in the way of the fan. We were going into ASMR. Top of the tower and goes to sleep. You know what? I changed my mind. I decided I'm sleepy as fuck. We're done. Oh, thank you for joining me. Sorry for the, the cock tease. No cheese! God, uh, the new way Twitch looks just throws me off. Anyway, 
I've decided it's that time once again. Because I, I really need to sleep. I don't know if I am going to sleep. But I really need to sleep. So, I'll try that. Next stream is tomorrow night. From 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you don't know what time that is in your time zone, that is approximately 21 hours and 49 minutes from right now. At that time, we'll be continuing our never-ending quest to Slay the Spire. You can check out previous episodes of both Slay the Spire as well as other games I've streamed in the past at both YouTube and BitChute, link down below. And feel free to join the community Discord, which is also linked down below. We're going to go raid somebody, but ciao. So feel free to stick around for that, whether you do or not. Thanks for joining me. Have a good night.